Bear Squad, what is up? It is Polar Bear here, and it is finally cold outside. Yes, that's right, even polar bears get cold. Listen, so it was like uh, about negative two this morning. I'm pretty happy with that. But uh, anyways, get right down to business. Guys, I want to thank everyone that came to the last video and uh, showed your support. Uh, we did really, really well, and uh, we're going to be able to send a uh, pretty decent amount over to... Uh, the Saito family, so I'm really excited about that. Thank you guys again so much for that. What we're doing today is uh, it's still really cold outside, so we're gonna take inventory really quick, and uh, we're gonna do some shopping. The van is a complete mess, and uh, the van is also idling right now, so you can you can kind of see you can kind of see the uh, camera bouncing around a little bit. It's nice and warm in there with the camera, with the uh, van idling though, so I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, you can probably see we've got a whole bunch of trash right in front of the camera that needs to go. And uh, we're going through and just writing down some of the stuff that we don't have enough of and we need to get more of. Um, Got to get more put in there. Uh, I should have taken the time and organized things, but I'm probably going to do that in the morning tomorrow before I go and visit our biggest location which I have to check up on every single week uh, it's actually been every uh, every eight days lately is what it just a, a day over a week um, and uh, we're running out of a couple of things but I really uh, I really like this bucket thing that I bought at Walmart it's it's working out really really well I can keep all my product in there and not have to worry about anything. Now, uh, we didn't have to buy quite as much as I thought we were going to have to buy this time around, so I'm really happy about that. We've got Snickers for days. Uh, we've, at some point in time, I think I bought too many boxes of sticker, Snickers, and uh, we wound up with too many of them. My treadmill just made a noise. It's on the other side of the room. That's kind of scary. Don't blow up on me. Uh, it was actually really nice to sit in the van and do this. Uh, I was really shocked at how warm it stays in the back of the van because uh, there's really no ventilation back there. But uh, as long as the van's running, um, it stays very warm back there. It was must have been like 65, 70 degrees in the whole van. It was great. I need to. Uh, I need to get. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Gone. Poof. Out of there. Anyways, right now I'm checking the MoMA app to uh, see what products I need to have for the soda machine uh, so I can put them on the shopping list and we can go get them. I've had a couple people ask for a video like this. Uh, I haven't really thought of doing a video like this, so I figured I'd just film myself as I was doing it the way that I would normally do it. It's going to be really interesting because some of the footage I haven't actually seen yet. I'm not sure how well it came out. Uh, but uh, the BJ's trip in particular is going to be kind of funny. Because sometimes I'm holding I'm holding the camera. Sometimes I'm trying to get the camera set up. <laughs> it's, it's actually pretty interesting. But uh, yeah, man. It's going to be... We had... A little over $550 left over. So we're going to spend some money today. And uh, as long as we spend less than when, what we're going to make tomorrow, then we're in good shape. We actually, uh, spoiler alert, we, we spent way less. Way less than what we're going to spend tomorrow. There's actually still quite a bit of money left. But uh, really, uh, really excited to show you guys the whole process here. I want to get one of them spinny chairs. You know how like uh, some of those big like live-in vans or whatever they have uh, pilot chairs that rotate. I'm gonna I'm gonna Google that right now. I want to get a pilot chair that rotates. You can see I'm uh, I'm looking for soda right now. You can see I'm trying to find uh, what sodas I need to purchase for the route. Uh, I need I need two cases of Monster. We know that because they went through an entire case of Monster, and uh, they did that pretty darn quick. But let's see here. I'm here looking to see if I can find... What is it? Is it the uh, 
must be the, the G2 vans or something like that. I can't remember. I really do want to find one of those one of those pilot chairs though, so I can turn the whole thing around. And that is it for that. We're gonna start shopping. You see, so I'm kind of holding the camera discreetly. BJ's just not like it when I film here. <laughs> they caught me once a long time ago, a really, really long time ago, and asked me to leave. And uh, they haven't like totally kicked me out of the store, fortunately. But I get so many people asking for videos like these, so I'm gonna try to sneak one, see if we can get one. It's nice, uh, nice and cold out today. You can see the ice build up everywhere. Occasionally, you're gonna see me like turn the camera completely away because someone was right there, and I didn't really want them to see the camera. So I've got it like I'm kind of like balling up a fist around the around the uh, lens itself, so you can't really can't really see the camera so well unless you like specifically look at my hand. I'm walking right by a lady right now that is looking right at my hand <laughs> and I'm just like don't get me don't get me but it's okay. So we're gonna go in here and I had I'd already uh, got a shopping cart going and I had forgotten to film and I was like no I need to go get the camera. So my cart's right here we've already got Milky Way and we've already got, uh, what do we got? We got Milky Way and something else. I'm going to sit here and try to, try to get this camera set up the way that I like it. And it's just not going to, not going to do what I'm asking it to for quite a while. <laughs> I messed with it for a minute here. Oh wait, perfect Amundo. Is that perfect? I think that's perfect guys. We're, we're in a good place. This is all normal speed because if I would have sped it up, everyone would have had a headache. We got Reese's, we got Reese's, we got the Milky Way, we got the Milky Way. The prices went up on everything. It's like ridiculous how expensive everything is now. So margins are going down quickly, which is not, not what I like to see. I'm not actually visiting any locations today, so I'm not, usually I'll wear like a collared shirt, and have it tucked in and stuff, but I'm not super, super formal today. We got the Swedish fish and then the Sour Patch Kids. Got to have those. I've got my little oopsie card because I left my BJ's card at home. I was thinking about getting like a nice scene there and doing some weird editing, but then I decided against it. Oh my gosh! Who runs out of peanut M&M? These guys don't have the regular cases of peanut M&Ms right now. And, uh,. They've got them in like the variety packs, but I don't need anything else in the variety packs. So I'm kind of like, ugh. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace it with crunch bars. I don't have crunch bars at that location right now. I'm not looking forward. To, like, it just stinks so bad because those are literally like, I think it's my second best candy row seller, and. They didn't have them in stock. They said they were discontinued, and I was like, lady, they're not discontinuing peanut M&Ms. They've been around for so long. They're like, oh, no, no, they're just discontinuing the packaging. And I was like, ah, see, that that I can understand. That I, I could see that happening. So we just picked up some Skittles. The Skittles went up, too. They're flipping $23.99 now. They used to be $19.99. The margin on those just took a dump. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so next up we're gonna go get some Lance crackers, I think. I'm gonna peek at a couple things on the way there. But Lance crackers is the next in line for us to go check out for sure. I just yawned. I was trying really hard not to, but it happened anyway. Nope, not Lance track Crackers. We need Cheez-Its. What are you doing? Stop. Get the Cheez-Its. Cheez-Its. Does anyone else have like hardcore, uh, hardcore sales with Cheez-Its lately? I don't know what happened. It's just like they turned the volume up to 500 in, uh, in the Cheez-Its category. And these Lance Crackers, I'm really shocked, but they're actually doing pretty well for me. 
In particular, the round peanut butter ones are doing really well. So we're gonna make our way over to the one ounce chip bags. We're gonna sneak around as we do it. Do, 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 do. Should have some like crazy weird music right here. But uh, you can't see it still. Now you can. You can kind of see it now. There's a buckle in the way, but there's also a big spill of water or something right there. One ounce chip bags. We get one of each of the 50 counts. Uh, one is $14.99. The other one is $15.99 for 50. So the prices are pretty good. It's kind of like selling soda. Those are how I'm able to sell my candy at a dollar a piece. Although, I gotta be honest, I'm not sure how much longer I'm gonna be able to maintain the dollar a piece on the candy. The, uh, with the prices the way they are, they're getting worse and worse, it seems like. Next year, I'll probably have to up the prices on all the candy. I'm sure no one's gonna be happy about it. So, you couldn't really see anything anymore, so I put the camera back in my hand in hopes that I could kind of give people an idea of what we're doing here. It is really shaky every now and again. <laughs> this cart's horrible, and every time I take a step, it bounces. But if you guys got some ideas on how I can film this inconspicuously, but still have somewhat decent quality, shoot me ideas. I'm totally open to it. I'm looking for people eyeballing the camera because I wasn't really sure if people were watching me or not. And uh, so this is where I get my danishes. They've got these up here at BJ's. They're not 50% off, it's the ones below them. I was kind of hoping they would be, but they weren't. Although, if they're 50% off, the dates are probably about to hit. I saw these little blueberry things and I was like, hmm, maybe I could put those in. But the prices don't really make sense for me to do that. So we're going to move these chips around just to make it so I can set the uh, camera up on them. And we'll get a couple of things of danishes. Always check your dates when you're buying danishes because it can cause a whole bunch of problems. <laughs> See the one on the right, uh, that one right there on the right, it was about to be up in like a week. And the other ones, they're good till the end of the month. So definitely want to try to keep those up there. We've only got one more item, well, two more items of one kind, something like that. We gotta go get Monster. We gotta pick up the Monster. We need to have two 24 packs of this because if you guys, uh, those of you who have been subscribed for a while and been following what we've been doing, uh, we switched to a double column over at our salsa bottling plant on Monster. So we need to have two cases of that ready to go. And bam. So someone was asking about different colored Monster. And you know, I haven't really tried the only one that I could really actually control would be the white one because the other ones come in a variety pack and I can't really do the whole variety pack thing. It just it wouldn't work. If I do do variety packs, I usually like mix them up somewhere. You know, what is it that I do? I do that with the chips. The chips, if I can't fit all of them in one bag, then or in one row, then I'll mix them up a little bit to make it even so it's full. With a soda machine, you can't really do that unless you put like a mystery label on it or something, you know? But uh, that's, that's about it for this location. We're gonna go cash out. And we've got $251.87. Now, I totally forgot to film at Walmart. Totally spaced on it, didn't think about it at all. Sorry about that. You can see we got quite a bit of product. I think I forgot to film the receipt too. It was 101.97. Let's do some math here while we're putting this away. 101 plus 251. Calculator. 
Give me one second, guys. My brain's not working, so I'm just going to use the path of the calculator. It's uh, 251 plus 101 is 352. 500 minus 352. 500 minus 352. Gives us 148 at the end of the game. So we've still got 148 left over. And we're going to fill this sucker right to its peak. Well, not right to its peak. We wind up we wind up filling the van quite a bit. It's, uh, it's really funny how much is left to go there. But yeah, guys, so we are totally set for tomorrow. Um, well, you guys won't see it. You, it'll be on Monday's video. Um, filming it tomorrow, but uh, we're going to go service the uh, salsa bottling plant. And I think in the same day we might service our VIP location in Claremont. Uh, because that one, we're not servicing it to pull the money, we're servicing it because I never really filled it to the 100% marker. And uh, we're trying to get another viral video here one of these days. I have a pretty good idea on how to make one, but it's going to take some time for me to, for my machines to get to the point where I can do it. So i got to put all the time away and make it happen. Going to make it happen, guys. Always make it happen. Oh, man. Reyes just went live. i got to sit here and finish this dub, though, because that's what the real grind is like. So I'm putting away some, uh, some lemonade right now. We got four cases of Mountain Dew, four cases of Dr. Pepper, three 12 packs of Barks Root Beer, two 12 packs of lemonade, two 24 packs of Coca Cola. I'm missing anything? I'm not sure if I'm missing anything or not. We got enough stuff, that's for sure. We're not going to have to worry about stuff at all is all good to go here. In a second I'm going to pick the camera up and uh, show you what the van looks like. It's kind of a kind of a mess. I do apologize, but she's full full of stuff. Pumped. All right guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Remember to love life and live your dreams. Peace out Bear Squad.